Everybody loves getting that final disc to their disc wall, but that process is just so annoying. Failing over and over and over and over, creepers constantly blowing up, skeletons dying, you dying constantly over and over. And when you finally do end up getting a disc, it's either a duplicate of what you've already had or your world looks something like this. It's no fun, and that's why today I'm showing you how to build this extremely simple disc farm where with one shot of a skeleton's arrow, you can get as many discs as you want. It's definitely something you can't miss out on, so here's how to build it in Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. To start this farm off, go ahead and place down four blocks like that, with four blocks on top of it there, so you have a two by four wall, just like that. Go ahead and skip one block and copy the same thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a two by four wall, just like that. I then wanna go ahead and place two blocks on the back there, and then one at the very front. I wanna go to either one of the sides, it doesn't matter which, place down one block on the top with a sign on that block, and then one over from here as well. I'm gonna place a sign with a bucket of lava in the middle, and then what I want to do is place a block over top of those two holes right there. And now what we need to do is actually get a skeleton inside of this area down here. So as you can see, I have lured a skeleton inside of this area here, making sure that since it's daytime, I do have a roof over top so he doesn't burn. Now what I want to do is go six to seven blocks away. There's not actually a specific distance, but what I've found is that's a pretty good distance. So I'm going to count just a few blocks here. And what I want to do is make a decent sized hole in the ground. I'm going to go ahead and do a five by five hole just right in front of this here. And what I'm going to have to do is get a bunch of creepers inside of this hole. The more creepers that I have inside of here, the more discs that I'm going to get. Also, make sure that this hole is at least one, two, three, four, and five blocks deep. So make sure the hole is at least five blocks deep. The reason you make this hole five blocks deep is so when you're standing near the edge, the creepers aren't actually going to blow up. If it is four blocks deep, the creepers are able to blow up. So you just want to make sure that you're at least five blocks away, just like this. So as you can see now, I have 25 creepers in this bottom area. And like I said, every single one of these creepers are going to turn into another disc. To get the creepers into here, you can wait till nighttime to lure them in, or you can put this at the bottom of a creeper farm, whatever you want to do. But for me, I've got a bunch inside of here. What I'm going to do is right in front of this lava, I'm going to go to the middle of this area here. And then at the same height as the lava, I want to go ahead and place my block of TNT there. And what we need to do is we actually need to get this skeleton to shoot through the lava and have the fire arrow hit the TNT. The TNT is going to fall into this hole, kill all of the creepers. And since the skeleton actually shot the lava arrow through to the TNT and it killed the creepers, it's going to act as if the skeleton directly shot the creeper and it's going to give you all the discs for it. So as you can see, I am in survival now, and what you need to do is walk in front of this skeleton's arrow and get it to shoot it without shooting you like it did me. So just keep going back and forth, trying to get it to shoot this piece of TNT there. And once you do get that, you should see that it falls into the middle and blows up all the creepers. It could be a little difficult to do. I have full netherite, and he's still doing quite a bit of damage. So definitely be careful while you're doing this step. But all you need to do is get the skeleton to hit it just like that. It's going to blow up. And as you can see, when it does is all of those creepers turn out. <laughs> All of those creepers turn into discs, and what you're going to see when I open my inventory is now I have 25 of every single type of disc, all through that one skeleton arrow shot. So as you can see, I have collected every single type of disc just from those 25 creepers down there, all with one shot of an arrow. Instead of having to go ahead and kill all the mobs myself, get them low, try to have the skeleton shoot the creeper, all I had to do was stand here, get it to shoot one arrow at the TNT, and I was able to collect all of these music discs. So that is going to be it for this extremely simple disc farm. You can do this as much as you want. Put it at the bottom of a creeper farm, whatever you want to do. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blaze Dumpsy out.